Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news, rumors, and injury updates. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like on today's video. It takes a second. Helps me out a lot. And some questions and comments below today's video talking about all the injury updates and just all the topics I'm about to jump into. Also, check out my last video if you guys missed it. An NBA insider was talking about how he expects Anthony Davis to get traded to the Chicago Bulls in a couple years years i was talking about that whole situation and giving my opinion on that in my last video but either way let's just jump right into the injury updates because let's be honest the bulls have been injured this whole season the bulls finally got a little break to hopefully rest up and billy donovan was talking to the media just the other day and he gave injury updates on lonzo ball alex caruso and patrick williams and a quick little update on lonzo ball you know lonzo ball posted a video on his instagram story the other day and he was like dancing with his daughter and i saw a lot of bulls fans reacting to that and per Billy Donovan, he said that Lonzo Ball has ramped up his running as of late. So that's great to hear. That's good to see that Lonzo's moving, dancing, and just running as of late. You know, Alex Caruso will hopefully be able to do work with the ball late this week or early next week. That's a huge update. That's sounding really promising. He also said Patrick Williams is working with the basketball as well, but no contact or date to return to practice yet. I saw the other day, obviously it was All-Star Weekend and the Bulls took about a week off. I felt like this week has been dragging by, you know, I've missed watching the Bulls play. I feel like it's been such a long time since. But either way, I saw a bunch of Bulls were at practice the other day, hanging out at the Advocate Center and just getting some shots up. I even saw Tristan Thompson was there. I'm going to be talking about him in a few minutes. He was talking to the media and giving an interview. And the final quick little injury update that Billy Donovan did provide, you know, obviously Io was in the Rising Stars game and he jammed his thumb going for like a block or something in that game. And Billy Donovan did say that nothing came of his jammed thumb in the Rising Stars game. He, it hasn't limited him in practice or anything like that. And he said Io said he's fine. So that's great to hear. All these updates are very promising. It even seems like the Bulls might be getting some players back sooner rather than later. So that's great to hear. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about all those updates and like i was just saying you know the bulls were at the advocate center practicing and getting some shots up the other day and tristan thompson was talking about signing with the bulls and what his role on this team is going to be and he, he gave a great response. You know, he said, do whatever it takes to win, whether that's set screens, dive for loose balls, finish around the rim, whatever my team needs to win, that's all that matters. So I think I'll mesh pretty well with this group. That's great to hear. I know Zach and DeMar played a huge part in getting Christian Thompson to the Bulls, especially DeMar DeRozan. I know DeMar and him are really good friends and they both were really happy when he did sign. And I believe Christian Thompson's a great pickup. You know, obviously off the court, he has some issues and always some drama. But on the court, he's a very solid solid player. Good pick and roll defender. Good defender. You know, he's just going to be that tough hustle guy that the Bulls have been missing this whole season. And he also was talking to the media the other day. And he said DeMar DeRozan should be the league MVP right now. And that's great to see. You know, like I said, they're great friends. Obviously, he's going to say that. But DeMar truly does deserve to be league MVP in my eyes. I feel like the media just has been disrespectful respecting him and the Bulls this whole season even last offseason I mean they somehow rated him the worst free agent signing I still can't believe Blue Tree Report did that but either way definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video talking about all those injury updates and obviously the Tristan Thompson pickup and the next topic in today's video is about how the Chicago Bulls are urged to sign another free agent. You know, I'd say about a week or two back, our tourist was saying how the Bulls were going to be very aggressive on the buyout market. Obviously, that was true. They signed Tristan Thompson, and I believe he was the best free agent on the buyout market. But according to a Sports Illustrated writer, he believes that the Chicago Bulls should sign Jeff Teague. You know, he obviously played for the Bucks and Celtics last season, and he did win the 2021 NBA championship with the Milwaukee Bucks. And currently, Jeff Teague is a unrestricted free agent, and Ben thinks Jeff Teague could help out the Chicago Bulls. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video. You know, there was some talk about how the Bulls were interested in signing Goran Dragic, but obviously he ended up signing with the Brooklyn Nets. And, you know, I was all for getting Goran Dragic. I believe he'd be a great backup point guard for the Bulls if they could have signed him. 
But in my opinion, with all the good injury updates that just came out surrounding Lonzo and Alex Caruso, it seems like all those players are going to return sooner rather than later for the Chicago Bulls. I first off highly doubt the Bulls do cut anyone else other than Alfonso McKinney. And I just don't see the Bulls needing another point guard on this roster, especially if everyone is expected to be healthy soon. But the writer did continue and he said Jeff Teague would not only help the offense, you know, he'd be facilitating the offense, but he can also knock down three pointers at a high clip. You know, he is a career 36% shooter from three point range. And last season, he shot nearly 44% from deep. You know, his mix of playmaking and shooting could help the Bulls insurance for a playoff series if any of their key guards cannot play. And I agree, Jeff Teague would be a solid pickup if needed. You know, say the Bulls weren't getting healthy, I would be down for this. But, you know, I just don't really see a need in this. You know, Jeff Teague does have career averages of 12 points per game, about 3 rebounds, 6 assists, and about 826 games played with the Hawks, Pacers, Timberwolves, Celtics, and Bucks. He made the All-Star team back in 2015, and he also played in 87 playoff games. I believe Jeff Teague would be a solid pickup, and I remember how there was some talk about how the Bulls were interested in signing him for last NBA trade deadline. I just highly doubt it does happen with all the good injury updates that just came out. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about that topic. And the final topic in today's video is about Nikola Vuce's future contract with the Chicago Bulls. You know, in my past two videos, I was talking about Anthony Davis and Cat, you know, two big men that have been kind of linked to the Chicago Bulls recently. And for the past few days now, there's been a lot of videos on YouTube and I saw talk on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook talking about Vooch and if the Chicago Bulls should extend him. And earlier this season, Vooch was on a radio show and he was talking and he said he hasn't had any extension talks with the Bulls. Obviously, this was months ago, but he did say my main focus is to help this team win. And let me just say I'm all for extending Vooch in this upcoming offseason. You know, Vooch has played really well. He, he obviously started the season really struggling. He dealt with COVID and just his shooting percentages were really down. But heading into All-Star break, especially with Zach Levine dealing with some injuries, Vooch has really stepped up his play. You know, in the last 13 games before the NBA All-Star break, Vooch did average 24 points per game and 13 rebounds per game. I'm all for signing Vooch to an extension if he can keep up this level of play. Hopefully it's not about $20 million. I feel like that might be a bit much. As long as Vooch is down to take a little pay cut, in my opinion, I'm all for bringing Vooch back. I mean, he is a free agent in 2023. And I mean, in 2023 NBA free agency, the Joker is a free agent and I do expect the Bulls to be interested in him, but who knows how the Bulls salary cap is going to look by then. I mean, that is years down the road with all the signings and everything like that, especially with the Zach Levine max extension, I'd say coming this upcoming summer. But as of right now in 2023, the only players on this roster that are signed right now are DeMar, Lonzo, Patrick Williams, Alex Caruso, and Marco. So as of right now, it does seem like the Bulls will have salary cap to be active in 2023 definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about vooch's future with the chicago bulls and we, and if you guys want the bulls to extend him for this upcoming offseason thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one